Best in show right, here we go, that's the first episode. Mr. Bump goes on a trip. I think we all have to agree that this is one of my favourite episodes. Okay. Mr. Bump hasn't got off to a very good start. But you see, today isn't just a normal day. He's going on a trip. Gelato Beach theme in Super Mario Sunshine. Now Mr. Bump is having the best holiday of his life. And he has made lots of new friends. There's the credit.
Stay tuned for the next story. Mr. Dizzy goes doggy sitting. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hello. Hello. Ah, Mr. Dizzy. I'm Mr. Clever. I'm entering a competition, and so I've come to ask you if you'd mind looking after my dog. I should be proud to look after your dog. I rather hope that my dog will be proud of you. Oh, yes. In Cleverland, even the animals are clever. Rex, like his master, is very, very smart. Hello! Hello! Rex, here's Mr. Dizzy who will look after you while I'm away. Meow! <laughs> Meow! Don't worry, he's a little dizzy. Look, I've... I've got a present for you, doggy. <laughs> Hello, doggy. <laughs> yeah, put that in the fridge and get ready for our walk. <laughs> oh, what? Well, did, did I do something wrong? <laughs> ready for walkies. Where are we going? Oh, and if you want to go to the DVD menu, just press this console button. Let's go to where. And I'll go to where we were uh, earlier. Oh, we've gone a bit too far. Oh. We've gone a bit too far, guys. So, uh, so let me go to the, the parts that we've, ne that we, we've seen earlier. Let's go backward. <laughs> okay, we're back. Yeah, put that in the fridge and get ready for our walk. You can press wrong? this button if you want to take a break from time to time. Where are we going? When I oh, we'll yeah, press the stop button. You are nice, doggy. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do with it? I say, your friend's a bit dizzy. Rex, can you at least sit up and beg? He doesn't like sugar. I'm sure he'd prefer a little pepper. <laughs> we take out our handkerchief when we sneeze, Mr. Dizzy. <laughs> uh, what did I do wrong? First, give me that bone on the dog and give me the collar. You look ridiculous with that thing around your neck. <laughs> Everybody makes fun of me. I'm tired of being so dizzy. Don't be that way. You're not as silly as all that. Just tell yourself you're clever. Ooh, I'm clever. <laughs> I'm clever. <laughs> I'm clever. Perfect. Perfect. I'm clever. <laughs> I'm clever. Yeah, that's good. Now, put the collar around my neck. I'm 
know the adult and you're my master. What will we do? We're gonna teach two bad you people how to live. So far. <laughs> <laughs> Rex and Mr. Dizzy waited for Little Miss Trouble and Mr. Appity to return. My dear Dizzy, are you still fighting Dizzy? Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm better now. Oh, <laughs> I see you still have a cold, but well, I've got just the remedy. Well, I just need a little bit more. Could you fill Mr. Oakley's hat? With pleasure, my dear Dizzy. <laughs> oh, do excuse me. How dizzy I am. There. That's how with I'll the help show of you that Mr. Dizzy became Logan. more clever. <laughs> before we start the next episode. How do you like it, guys? Choice for little Miss Fickle. Do you know what little Miss Fickle's problem is? No. She can never make up her mind. Oh, no, um, oh, no, 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 no. Poor little Miss Fickle can never make up her mind. Three letters for you, little Miss Fickle. Goodness me. I don't believe it. Oh, what on earth should I do? What is going on, little Miss Fickle? Oh, Miss Magic, what a disaster. Mr. Strong, Mr. Small and little Miss Wise have all invited me round this afternoon. So, what is the problem? Well, I don't know which invitation to accept. If I go to Mr. Strong's house, then Mr. Small and Little Miss Wise will be upset. And if I choose Little Miss Wise, Mr. Strong and Mr. Small will be sad. I'll never be able to choose. Please don't worry. Listen to me. Little Miss Fickle will be free. Have fun, all of you. So, Little Miss Fickle went to see Mr. Strong, who, being Mr. Strong, prepared a meal of eggs for her. Just wait till you taste this omelette. You'll absolutely love it. I wonder if I wouldn't prefer fried eggs after all. No problem. And I've even managed not to break the yolks. Do you know how to make boiled eggs? No problem. There you are. Actually, I don't think I fancy eggs after all. Um, I'd love a cup of tea, though. <laughs> Why 
One, two, three, four. Mr. Small and the second Miss Fickle were playing hide and seek. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You're supposed to hide, little Miss Fickle. But I can't decide where. I wonder what our third little Miss Fickle was doing at little Miss Wise's house. There is a very good cartoon series. We're going to have great fun. I wonder what's on the other channels. Ah, oh, sport. But what about channel nine? Good afternoon, and here is the news. Please stop. I wish you'd make your mind up, little Miss Fickle. This is making me quite dizzy. After such an eventful afternoon, our three little Miss Pickles are happy to be home again. But three little Miss Pickles getting dinner ready? Can you imagine that? What's for dinner? Um, sausages? And why not bananas? I think I'd rather have steak. And how about some cake? No, eggs would be much nicer. A green salad? No, spaghetti. And why not mashed potato? Goodness me, this really won't do at all. What on earth is going on? They can't make up their mind. I understand. What a pickle. Let there be just one little Miss Pickle. Phew. Thank you, little Miss Magic. My pleasure. But I think that from now on, you really will have to manage by yourself, you know. Goodbye now. I'm invited to a very splendid party for very splendid people. Would you like to come? Um, uh, wait, oh, just God. a moment, there's someone That's at the door. I'm going to a sausage eating competition. <laughs> Do you want to come along? Um, I'm not sure. Mr. Worry. Have you ever noticed how happy everyone is on Christmas Eve? But of course, who could be happier than little Miss Sunshine? Merry Christmas, Mr. Rush. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Mr. Strong. Merry Christmas, Miss Sunshine. Where are you going with all those trees? To Mr. Worry's house. He's terribly worried, you know. But why? You late, Mr. Strong. I was so worried. But you see, I finally made it. So there's nothing to worry about, is there? Yes, there is. I'm very worried. Come on in, and I'll tell you. Do you like my Christmas tree? It's magnificent, Mr. Worry. Doesn't it lean over a little? Listen, Mr. Worry, I honestly think that your tree is the most beautiful one in town. Well, that's exactly what's worrying me. Everyone should have a, a beautiful tree. Otherwise, Father Christmas will be very disappointed and it will spoil everything. Come along, Mr. Strong. We haven't a minute to lose. Hello, Mr. Bean. Do you have a nice Christmas tree? Yes, of course I do. I kept the one I had last year. But Father Christmas will be most disappointed if he sees that you haven't made an effort. You may not get any presents. Oh, 
No present. It must have cost a fortune. But the real Christmas tree is beautiful, isn't it? Hello, little Miss Tidy. Have you decorated your Christmas tree? Yes, but uh, I forgot where I put it away. Oh, no, little Miss Tidy. You should know better. I am sorry. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. But of course I have a tree. A, a, a magnificent one at that. Come and see. See? But, little Miss Scatterbrain, that's a hat stand you decorated, not a tree. Eight more episodes to, work, to go. And all day long, Mr. Worry and Mr. Strong put up magnificent Christmas trees for everyone in Mr. Land. Even though Mr. Worry is now sure that everyone has a beautiful tree, he just can't stop himself from worrying. What if Father Christmas catches a cold? And will he be able to get down Mr. Wherry's chimney? And the next morning... Oh, oh, Father Christmas has come. What a big parcel. I do hope I can open it. Oh, oh, well, that looks fun. For Mr. Wherry so that he could relax and worry a little less. Best wishes, Father Christmas. Well, happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Oh, happy happy Christmas. Christmas. Thanks to Mr. Wayne, everyone had had a visit from Father Christmas. Mr. Mean had received a superb collection of chocolate money. Little Miss Tidy was also delighted. Unfortunately, little Miss Scatterbrain had already lost her present. As for Mr. Strong, it looked as though he was going to get even stronger. Really, then, huh? Something wrong, old chap? Oh, no, I wonder if next Christmas will be as much fun. And, you know, I, I worry about that. Solves a mystery. Only seven more episodes to go. We're not bored. Mr. Mr. Nosey is busy at his favourite pastime, spying on the neighbours. Nothing new today. <laughs> Here's Mr. Stamp coming to pay me a visit. I have something for you, Mr. Nosey. What's it doing in my bag? Please let go. Oh, these letters are not for you. I just love the music. Yeah, this is for you. Goodbye, Mr. Nosey. It's so the catchy. Nothing interesting. The music is so the catchy. What's this? You didn't need it to solve mystery. Contact Mr. Worry. At last, someone needs my help. What are you doing? Don't you need a detective to solve a mystery? Did you read that in the paper? Oh, I'm better than any detective. A member of your family? Why do you want to know that? To help solve the mystery, of course. 
history is nothing. It's in the garden. Every day my apples disappear. I can't even sleep at night. You think I know it's condition. No apples on the menu today, Mr. Greedy. And no bag in the then. I can play the Rita technical delay announcement. Mr. Nosy, nosiness is a terrible thing. Well, I can't tell you now, but I'm on a special mission for Mr. Worry. His apples are disappearing. Somebody gave them to me this morning. Those apples are full of hot, 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 hot mustard. Well, no need to tell me who gave you those apples. Someone's going to have some fun. I knew it. Only little Miss Trouble does things like that. <laughs> Hands up! <laughs> You're under arrest. Like I said, if this stuff doesn't work, I can try resetting it. Are you certain that this trouble won't come and take more of my apples? Don't worry. Mystery's great or spawn, nosy solves them all. <laughs> What's happening? Thanks to Mr. Nosy, Mr. Wiley got his apples back. So, you've known Little Miss Trouble since play school. <laughs> this is good. Maybe she was just trying to get her own back. You're really too nosy, Mr. Dozy. That's what they always say when I learn one of their secrets. <laughs> We're still not to the finish. Six more episodes to go. We'll go to more stories. Mr. Greedy. Mr. Greedy doesn't need an alarm clock. His tummy wakes him up in the morning. Oh, I'm hungry again. Oh no, I won't believe my eyes. Oh, I'm sure they were full last night. More than I thought. I better hurry out and do some shopping. Hello, Mr. Greedy. Oh, hello there, little Miss Greedy. Hello, Mr. Greedy. Oh, hello, Mrs. Crump. Oh, I'd like a dozen loaves of bread, fifteen apple pies, and twenty hot cross buns, please. I'm so sorry, Mr. Greedy. We've sold out. You mean all oh, gone? Little Miss Greedy was just here, and she bought everything uh, in the shop. Too bad about the bread. Still, I'll buy three dozen eggs from Mrs. Green. I'll make an omelette as big as that. No, bigger! 
Hello, Mr. Green. Three dozen of your biggest eggs, please. Here you are, Mr. Greedy. Sorry, Mr. Greedy. I don't believe it. It's never been empty before. My tummy is as empty as my wallet. I'm not the What do you want? Anyway, I've got no money, you know. I'm sorry to disturb you, Mr. Me, but oh, I'm terribly hungry. You want a little piece of bread for me, would you? No, Mr. Grady. I'm keeping the bread I have left over for tomorrow. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I must eat. I must eat. And soon. Oh, Please, Mr. Mischief, I haven't eaten a thing all morning. Sorry, dear friend. <laughs> Look, <laughs> that would be my last. <laughs> Just look at me. I'm getting thinner by the minute. Good day to you, Mr. Greedy. How are you? Terribly. I haven't eaten once yet this morning. Oh, I've just finished my shopping. Come and have lunch with me. I'll cook you some fish. You like fish, I hope. Oh, you like it? Oh, I love it. Oh, as long as I'm eating, I'm a happy man. I'm not oh, hungry, oh, are you? Oh, oh no. Help. 